Going to need an oxygen mask to keep going. Hello, Market Club members everywhere. Adam Hewison here, co-founder of Market Club with your midday market report for Tuesday, the 7th of August. Despite all the problems in Europe, and there are many, the U.S. stock market seems to be going it alone, at least for the moment. Readers of this blog know that we are not excited about the broad U.S. equity markets as our long-term indicator continues to remain negative on the other hand, individual stocks are a different matter as they can rally for technical and fundamental reasons. We'll be showing some of those to you today. Members only have to look at the trade triangles to see which stocks are trending higher and which stocks are headed for the basement. The S&P 500 is based on 500 individual stocks, as you probably know, and our trade triangle technology remains negative on that index. Eventually, this impasse will be resolved one way or another, and a strong trend will either pursue on the upside or the downside. Only time will resolve this deadlock. For now, we remain stuck in a broad trading range. So let's go to our trade triangles right away. So I've already set this up, but this is the link you would click right here. This is if you're a member of Market Club. And what I want to look for is equity volume greater than 2 million, not the daily triangles. And you can see the daily triangles here, there are lots of them. They're all highlighted in the yellow with the ones that have moved. But I want to look at the monthly trade triangles because that's what we consider to be the big trend. So you just go down here to monthly trade triangles. We've got the volume greater than 2 million. So we want to trade liquid stocks, big markets, and we want to search just for today. So let's see what we have coming up. Well, quite a few. Uh, Sirius Radio, Riverbed Tech, Textron, and you can see they're all prices right here. You can see where the prices are. If you mouse over here, you see the green monthly. It's just off the chart, but I'll read it to you. It's 2.31, and that's today. And what's interesting, you also have American Capital Agency trading at 33.27. It's down today, and you can see that signal came in at 30.94 so it's actually even though it's rallied a little bit from the signal it's still in a negative mode which is interesting considering how strong the markets are and if you ever want to look at any of these markets all you have to do is just click on the link we'll do let's just take Altera uh, for example so we go to the little blue box click there and it'll bring up a chart of ours and you'll see the market club chart and it'll show you the link that clicked right in there. That's a great looking breakout on the upside. If we scope this out further, you'll see it looks as though it's done a couple of things. It looks like it's broken out of this trend line. Yep, that's one way, the breakout. The breakout came right here. And again, the market uh, hit today you can see August 7th at 36.30. It's 37.14 now. So everybody had a chance who was a member to buy this market today. So again, it's a great signal. And you can use this with your Market Club membership. All these signals are there for you. And these are stocks that are happening today. It may not be in your portfolio. And uh, if they're not, they're going to show up here. So again, you can sort uh, not just for stocks, but also for other markets like foreign exchange, futures, indexes, mutual funds, ETFs, penny stocks, Australian stocks, and even Canadian stocks. So if you're based in Canada, you can search for Can Canadian stocks. Let's just try the Canadian stocks just for fun. I haven't done that today. So let me just go to we'll do a million shares there. Monthly trade triangle search today. Boom. And there we have two stocks. And the uh, SPT has a capped industrial sector index. That's a signal up 1%. And the signal came in uh, today at 114.89. We're currently trading at 115.09. So it's a good signal. So again, you can search all through our database looking for trades. It'll bring the trades right to you with our trade triangle technology. Very powerful and easy to use. It's available to you as a member. So let's go to our index, our portfolio, I should say. And here we start with the S&P 500. Again, you see it's 70. And that's not a way for us to get excited about this market on the upside. 70 is not a bull signal. So let's just click this. And the one thing that stands out to me here, we got here's the, here's the signal 70. The one thing that stands out to me is that we are really, we've just out of the Donchian trade channel. You see how that we've jumped out over it? It's not unusual, excuse me, it is a little unusual for that to happen. What it does, like here and here, it comes back in. I suspect we're going to see the same thing happen with this market, we're going to see this market come back in. And again, we you can see the pattern. It's 
Rise up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And now we're up. I think we're going to see another down. Now, the interesting thing is each time we've come down, we've actually had a higher low, which may be an indication we're seeing a turn. But right now, our monthly trade triangle is still red, indicating the longer term trend is negative. So let's clear the screen, go to our next market. And the next market is going to be the Dow, I believe. And that, again, similar pattern. Uh, just outside the top of the Donchian trade channel, I think that may be seeing this market come back. Plus, you're very, very overboard in this market. And a lot of it has just been really short covering. I think people who are negative on this market have been covering their short positions. I don't think there's been a lot of new buying. And also, if I look at the volume, has been really declining on this ride. Very low volume. So not can't get excited about the market right now. Same with NASDAQ, way out of the bounds of the Donchian trade channel. Uh, a lot of that could be just probably uh, some of the stocks in that Apple maybe I haven't looked but again is out of the confines of a tr the trade channel uh, don't you trade channel I think we'll see like here I think we'll see this market come back in much like it did come back to the midpoint of the channel plus 70 is not a bull market so let's go to our next market and this is crude oil crude oil is just over the top or uh, just reaching out of its the top of the Donchian trade channel, again, similar pattern here. Uh, is this a start of a bull market? Possibly, but our long-term indicator, again, is negative. Intermediate term traders should be long in this market because we use, if when we use this indicator in our portfolio, which is our portfolio of shares and World Cup portfolio, crude oil is part of that. And we trade it based on the weekly for the trend. So you belong from somewhere around here. Let's just put that in for fun. You're long from back here, 87.23, and you would be using your daily for getting in and out of the market. Now, there probably be several times, yep, several ways to get in and out, but that was the last signal right here at 90.30. Currently trading 93.89. Nice profit of uh, $3,800 in that, in that trade. So, again, it's a very easy way to do it with the trade triangle. So, let's go. Plus, this is, we give you the signals every single day with the World Cup portfolio, so you can really put your orders in. Go play golf, go play tennis, go fishing, whatever you like to do. But uh, we show you the signals every day before they occur. So let's go to our next market, and that's the euro against the dollar. Now we're at, up against this 124 area, 124 and change. Uh, this, to me, is an area the market's going to have problems in. And again, it's a situation where the European situation has not been resolved. It's not going to go away. It's still there, and it hasn't reared its ugly head in the last couple of days. So I think that's why we've had some sort of a rally here in the equity markets. But nonetheless, this looks to me like we're just sort of flaying around here, waiting for this market to do something. But certainly, I think if we looked at this yesterday, we said the 124.85 level is about a 61.8% Fibonacci retracement. That's just a little bit above where we are now, about 70 points. So I think that would be an area that's going to cause a problem for this market. So... Moving along to the gold market. Again, gold is just like, ugh. It really doesn't get going anyway. Uh, you just see this market just sort of moving along, just moving along, just kind of going nowhere. This is definitely the, <clears throat> this is the line in the sand, the 1630 level. That's the line in the sand on the upside. and the downside, I think you're going to look at this 1580 level, which we talked about last week. We thought the market all... Yeah, we thought the market would pull down and did exactly what we expected. It's come back up now. Whether it's going to go over this level, I think it's too early to tell. But nonetheless, it still is not a bull market. You've got a long-term negative. Intermediate-term traders should be long this market, however. And uh, you should have some small, a small loss right now in this market. So let's clear the screen, go to our next market. And while we do that, I'll just take a little drink of water. I have something in my throat. <clears throat> this is the copper market, and what we said in our blog today basically is that the copper has exhibited a pattern of about 15 to 16 days from the highs, like this, and this takes it to this area here. So we're we're in an area time-wise where this market should be running into resistance. Certainly, uh, I think this area right here, which is around the 
45 level is going to offer resistance. I think we'll see this market eventually come back down and test the 330 level again. Because this, unlike the other market, if you look at, we are seeing lower lows here. So I think the longer term trend plus the weekly down uh, indicating that it's the minus 75, the trend is down in this market. I think after we go through this period, the 16, 15, 16, 17 days highs, like we've seen here and here and now here, I think we'll see this market reverse and go back down. So let's see how that plays out in the real world of the market, but we are overbought, if you can see right here, and uh, I think there's more opportunity on the downside. But let's see how that works out for the rest of today, the rest of this week, I should say. So silver, Again, the 28.50 level is like the, the line in the sand. It needs to really go over there in a convincing fashion and close over there. I'm not so sure it's going to do that. It's uh, it's trying to make a base, but again, you longer term monthly down, short term weekly up. The intermediate term was weekly is up. You can see the weekly kicked in right here at 27.86, and it's been a little bit choppy since then. So let's see how that plays out. Hard to make money when markets aren't going anywhere. That's really just a, a market axiom. So let's go to our next market, and that's the Reuters Jefferies Index. Certainly the 305 level here on this index, which is right here, this line across here is 305. That is big resistance in my book, and I don't know if it's going to go over there or not. So let's just see how that plays out. But generally speaking, the longer term trend right here, the monthly is down. And that is something we definitely pay attention to. The monthly is what we look at here. So let's go to our next market, clear the screen. And this is a stock that was in the news today, Leap Wireless. Uh, what I wanted to show you with this one is the fact that the trade triangles. Is, now it's interesting with this, let's scope this out a little further. With this one, even though the news came out today, some news came out really pushed it down a lot, it's down 20%, but the reality is the market was telling you that beforehand. And let me show you what I mean by that. Here's the signal, here's the monthly trade triangle signal, $8.08, currently trading at $4.37, and that signal came in on the 10th of April. So that was some time ago, I think you'd agree with that. 10th of April, and the market's just culminating now in a really downward, strong downward patch. Now there's two ways to use the monthly charts. One is this way. I'll show you what that is. The monthly can be used in the following way. It is a trend indicator. Okay. But it's also, you can also use it as a, just a trade indicator. And let me explain to you what I mean by that. You could just trade solely on the monthlies if you wanted to. Now with a trend indicator, what you're going to use is actually you're going to use the weekly. For a timing tool. Okay, so you're going to use the weekly for a timing tool and the monthly for the trend. Now, let me just explain what I mean by that. So let's just go back to our weeklies. And let's go back here. And you can see, so the weeklies are in here. Here's a weekly buy, which means cover your short position here. And that would be right here. And then you would reinstate the short position right here. And that was at 5.7. That's still a nice profit from where you are, but you capture some nice moves here. And it just means the monthly, just by itself, is less trading, less work. The monthly and the weekly is a lot more, not a lot more, but there are more trades to be put on. And you're only going to trade in the direction of the monthly trend. So that's how it works. So let's clear the screen here. Go to our next market. These are markets that are in the news today. And this is uh, CVS. And you can see here, I'm just going to put the monthlies in so you can see. The monthly kicked in right here. Nice trade here at the 37.50. You can see it marked up here. Nice move up here to 48. Kind of a mixed bag. But if you're using the weeklies, you're actually going to be out of this market from 44.86, indicating you're out, you've taken your profits, and you're just going to stand on the sidelines. That's another benefit of using the, you, using the 
weeklies as timing. Now here's a good one. This is the Elan. Uh, it's a stock. Uh, you can see it had a, uh, if we scope this out a little further, I want to show you how this works. So these are how the trade trials work. So here's the trade trial that kicked in and really kicked in really well in my, my opinion. So you would've got long right here. That's right around the five level. And you would've gotten out of here, which is right around the 12 level. So you would've made $7 on this position, which I think you'll agree is a phenomenal trade. Now, let me show you how using the weeklies, how that can benefit you as well. So let's just put the weeklies on there and just click here. Boom. And you see there's a lot more trading. Now, obviously, this was a great trade going from 6.71 on the 25th of March. And you get out at 11.45. So that's a huge profit. But you get a little bit chopped up here when the market isn't quite sure what it wants to do as chopping around. But you also get out closer to the tops using the weekly. So here's another example, 13.60. And uh, so that previous trade of 14.40, you would have lost 80 cents on that position. So there's advantages and disadvantages. It depends on your trading and how you like to express yourself in trading. So let's see how things work out. But uh, again, if you'd like to learn more about Market Club, I recommend you go with one of our personal one-on-one -on -one coaches and find out if it's right for you. It's a free consultation, and all you have to do is just give us a call at 877-219-1482. Hey, this is Adam Hewison for Market